The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Impatient. Ghana will grow. But it will take righteous people who will do a sacrifice, decide not to eat the grains. We don't want politicians who will eat all the grains and leave us starving. Our politicians should have all the, the sympathy to sow against the future. Today, pastors are not patient. Our directors are not patient. People don't want to suffer to gain. Somebody is employed today, and the next day he wants to be riding in Land Cruiser. Our fathers never taught us that. If you don't learn to crawl, you cannot walk. But I came this morning to tell us, let us have all the patience and the faithfulness to grow as a land. Do the little that you can do in all humility and give Ghana some space to grow. And then we will grow and we shall be there. Little by little we will be there. May I advise our directors, our politicians, our ministers, don't eat the grains today. It is for the future. Sow them. It is not for you. Ghana is not too old. We are still in the sewing business. So if our politicians and our pastors will begin to ride in the best of cars, now begin to have all the planes, they want to do whatever they want to do, with the little resources that Ghana have, we shall be struggling. We will be disturbing ourselves and the nation. Let us learn to crawl. Let us learn to walk. Then we can fly. I pray that God will help us. That all of us will have the patience that, they, that the Israelites had. They say that they are sowing in tears. And they are going to reap in joy. If we are sowing, let us sow in tears. With the hope that we will reap in joy. But we want to eat the very seed that we have to sow. Then we should forget about tomorrow. We'll be frustrating ourselves and our children and our children's children. Because now we have to sow. Let our politicians sow. Let the businesses sow. Let us have the patience for it to grow. So that we shall have a better Ghana. The better Ghana is still waiting for us. But if we decide to eat the very seed for which we have to sow, then where will be Ghana tomorrow? We shall be effectively destroying our future as a nation. They that sow in tears will reap in joy. If someone that is not prepared to sow in tears as a minister of religion and he has come in, today he wants to start with a tent, by next year he has put up a building, by next year he has broken it, he himself has a mansion, three cars, and he says that I am prosperous, God has given me, I want to challenge you to that. That is not who God is. God wants us to sow. God wants the seed to grow. God wants it to nurture so that when the harvest time is handed over to you, you will know that you have gone through some meal and then you will be able to handle it. They that sow in tears, they will reap in joy. But if you want to sow and harvest it whilst you are still sowing, what you will be effectively doing is digging the same grain and eating it. There will be no future for us. I pray that God will help us. Life is not all about money. Sitting in a cruising car does not define you. What we want is a Ghana that all of us will be proud of. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I pray that God will help us. That as ministers of religion, today we define the bigness of a minister in the car that he sits in. So that people will say that God has blessed me. Let me tell you, even Jesus Christ himself walked on the shores and he ate with fishermen 
even though he was God. Very simple life, but he was rich. The creator of the heavens and earth, he actually put the gold on the ground. But he was not interested in digging them so that people will know that look at him, Jesus Christ the Lord. That did not define him. He looked at the future. He thought of saving mankind and bringing many unto himself. Finding bread for many people, not finding bread for a few mouths. May the Lord help us. They that sow in tears will reap in joy. Our political terrain has been so tormenting. Because we want to have Ghana, we sow the seed today and tomorrow we want to reap. It is never so. The people we are learning from, they sow, they had all the patience and then they reap. May I encourage our politicians who are here. Stop disturbing each other. Stop disturbing yourself. And stop disturbing Ghana too. Give Ghana space to grow. Give Ghana space to crawl. Give Ghana space to learn how to walk. And then give Ghana space to learn how to fly. Let us have all the patience. And then what you have today, if you take it for yourself because we are a minister of religion, as some of us have been doing, we want to write in the best of cars because when you are a minister, the Bible says God has blessed you. And so we use these ones against the future, not thinking of our congregants who do not even have food on their table. And we take it all in the name of God as bless us. We shall be living a poor Ghana in future. If our ministers of states will take all and will not think about the future, we shall be living a poor Ghana. I am praying that God will help us. Let us all have the patience to learn to sow. And in due course, we shall reap. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seeds for sowing. This is what we have lost as a nation. A people who go sowing, but they themselves, they are hungry. Yet they are sowing. That is why they are sowing and weeping. They are weeping because they are hungry. They are thinking about their children who are at home. If they did so, what it meant was that when they went back home, there is never going to be food on the table. Yet, they were sowing in hope, believing that the future will be better than the now. We have not grown as a country. No. We can't compare the number of years we have spent to some of these big nations. Let us have all the patience to sow our ministers of the gospel. Let us not take the big titles and think that we have arrived. Let us sow into people's righteousness so that we can have a better Ghana tomorrow. I came to tell someone that they that sow in tears, the one who is sowing must sow in sacrifice. Then his children can reap in joy. If you enter into politics or you want to be a minister of state, enter with this mentality. I am going to sow in tears against a better Ghana. Nananum, just mount on the throne as the king, as the queen. Not because you want everybody to cotto you or to bow to you, to fear you and to respect you. But you have mounted the throne to sow against your people's future. The seed is not for us to eat. The seed is for us to sow. If you eat the seed, we shall have no future. I came to tell you that they that sow in tears, they can reap in joy. I am happy that I have in my congregation today some representatives from the political sphere, some representatives from the chieftaincy, some from the clergy, and others in the nation. Now listen, let us have patience for Ghana. I pray that God will help us. They that sow in tears, they will reap in joy. But anyone who does not want to sow in tears will be denied the future of the joy that we are all anticipating. May the Lord help me May the Lord help you. May the Lord help me as a minister of the gospel that I will not come preaching because of what I will eat. I have to preach because of the dying souls. Today, when you look at the standards of ministers of the gospel, they are even gorgeous than the average man. But we are supposed to be the servants of the people. Yet, we want people to serve us. We have turned the tables upside down. 
And that is why God is not blessing the land. Because we are supposed to be the custodians of the blessings, but we have missed the mark. Our chiefs have to serve the subordinates. Our chiefs are not supposed to sit down for the subordinates to serve them. Let our chiefs roll up their sleeves. Let our politicians roll up their sleeves. Let the ministers of the gospel roll up their sleeves and take upon them the form of a servant. The Bible says Jesus Christ, even though he was God, taught it not roughly to be equal with God, but intentionally took upon himself a form of a servant. And the Bible says being found in a form of a servant, he humbled himself. And the Bible said, therefore, God also highly exalted him. Don't exalt yourself. Be humble. And the Lord God Almighty will exalt all of us. Those who learn to sow in tears will reap in joy. If you don't learn to sow in tears, when the harvest time comes, you may not even know how to use it because you will spend it because you will never suffer when you were sowing. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will help us. Today, people come to Zoom Lion, and the next day, they want to ride in a big car. What a pressure you are putting on the company. Serve the nation. Let me also serve the nation. Let the chiefs serve the nation. Let the politicians serve their constituency. And the services is the sowing. And the Lord God Almighty will reign upon Ghana. And the seed that we have sown will germinate. We are talking about the future Ghana. We are not talking about the now. I know that at least one person will hear this voice of God that is tendering in my spirit. And when you do, and you take what I've said through the power of the Holy Ghost, and you decide that I'm not going to be like them. I want to be an ordinary politician. I've come to serve the people. Let my family members tell me that, excuse my language, you are a stupid man. When you have this opportunity, you should have sent this your nephew to America. You should have sent this one to UK. You should have sent this one to Germany. Let them insult you. Tell them, I came to sow against the future. If you don't sow against the future, and you think that it is all about you and your children and your children's children, then you'll be denying us of a better Ghana. I will be denying the Church of Pentecost of a better future if I want to be Lord over the church. I pray that God will grant us grace, the spirit of humility, the patience to serve and to wait for our time. So when it's after school, you are sitting in a Porsche car, ask yourself the means by which you got it. Ask yourself. Everybody wants to be a minister. Becoming a pastor in Ghana is so cheap because you don't, you don't need anything. You don't need any qualification. You only need a piece of land, just a small briefcase. And then that is it. You can decide to take any title that you want. You can take apostle, you can add prophet to it, you can add bishop to it. So one person is apostle, prophet, bishop. The next day, he's in a big car. We are disturbing the nation. We are destroying the very future of the church. We are destroying the very future of our nation. Can I call all of us to humility? That today, let us lift up our hands and bless the name of the Lord. I want you to sacrifice against the future. If you want to eat, then you'll be denying the future for all of us, our children and our children's children. May the Lord bless us. I hope I've spoken to somebody's heart. And let it be that God...